Well, the governor says in total 85 sites are now administering the vaccine. And while the state is preparing for broad distribution of the COVID vaccine via local pharmacies, CVS, Walgreens, there is no guarantees when and how many doses Connecticut could receive. 75,000 COVID vaccines have been distributed to Connecticut's hospital workers and nursing homes since the first vaccine arrived three weeks ago. Connecticut has received 167,000 vaccines so far, and Governor Lamont says the state is preparing for when they can administer the vaccine on a broader scale. We're rolling that out to pharmacies over the next couple of weeks. So as we broaden our population, it'll be easier for people to get their vaccine on a retail basis right at their local pharmacy, Walgreens, CVS, you name it, public health, federally qualified health centers. On Monday, assisted living facility clinics began administering the vaccine. Governor Lamont says by the end of this week, 100% of the state's nursing homes should have administered the first round of vaccinations, while other nursing homes have already begun distributing their second round of doses. While the governor says essential workers will be included in the second phase of vaccine distribution, he adds the state's allocation committee will officially decide who falls under phase 1B. If we find we do have additional vaccine, we'll continue to open up the lens a little bit more, either in terms of age groups, demographics, or other frontline responders. Adding that the state is prepared to distribute the vaccine, but it's up to the federal government to decide how many doses and when they will receive them. I'm told that there will be a weekly allocations. In terms of numbers, I don't have any numbers. The governor responding to a request from State Representative Vincent Candelora to include teachers over the age of 55 in the next vaccination phase. Let me just listen for my uh, allocation committee. Teachers in the classroom, uh, they are frontline essential workers, so I can understand where that question is coming from. And responding to requests from the Connecticut Education Association to only allow remote learning until mid-January, a decision that's up to individual districts. You saw um, the numbers about how much more effective a learning is and teaching is when it's done in the classroom. I think you know over the last probably uh, five months of schools being open that um, a kid wearing a mask in a classroom is uh, a lot less uh, likely to infect or be infected than a, a child at home. Governor Lamont says working with the CDC, the allocation committee meets tomorrow to begin discussing how to prioritize essential workers that are next in line to receive the COVID vaccine. At the state capitol in Hartford, Sania Maldonado, Fox 61 News. Chris